Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon. Hi, my name's Emily. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time watching, thanks for tuning in. We like to hang out and talk about makeup here. So today's video is going to be like a no makeup makeup look. Just something that you want to do um, that's going to be fast and easy to get you out the door in the morning. But doesn't make you look like you don't have anything on. So it's going to be like all about the skin, dewy, light coverage, and just highlighted. So let's jump into the video. So I'm going to start out today with my brows already filled in. And I use the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in 3.5. And for primer, I'm going to go in with my tried and true Max Strobe Cream in Pink Light. And I'm just going to take this in my fingers and rub it all over my face. This primer is so good when you want your skin to be glowy and luminous. It doesn't affect the longevity of your makeup. It just makes your skin look really nice and dewy and moisturized, which is what us dry skin girls need in the crackly dry winter days. Don't forget to give your neck some love. And now for foundation, I'm going to be taking the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation. This has SPF 15, it's cruelty free, and it's really going to be really good for those light coverage days. So I'm just going to take my Morphe Contour and Blending Sponge and tap this into my skin like so. And this cushion foundation does not give like hardly any coverage at all. So this is going to be perfect for those days where you just want a little bit of something on the skin, but you really don't want anything full coverage. You want to let your real skin peek through and just breathe. I really love how dewy and luminous this makes the skin look. Um, mine is in the shade Light Ivory, by the way, and it just gives like the lightest amount of coverage and just makes your skin look really glowy and beautiful. So for concealer, I'm going to go with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, and this is in the shade Fair. Oh. And I'm just going to take this and um, conceal where I normally would. So under the eyes, down the bridge of the nose, in the forehead, cupid's bow, and chin. And if you have any other like little breakouts that you want to cover up, go ahead and um, put some concealer there. And then just pat it in. And I find that this concealer blends beautifully even when you're not wearing foundation under it. So if you ever just want to wear... Um, concealer and no foundation under it. This concealer is also a great option for that. And it's drugstore, so it's going to be cheap and easy on the wallet. And it's just a really great formula that's going to last all day. So I highly recommend this concealer. It's one of the best at the drugstore, in my opinion. So now I'm going to go in with powder, and this is the Cody Airspun Powder. It's $5 at Walmart. It's great. I love it for the under eyes. And I'm going to take that on a Morphe M3, M536 and just put this on the under eyes just to set um, the under eyes and prevent creasing. I'm going to put a little bit on the eyelid as well because we're not going to be wearing eyeshadow today. So we don't really want like creasy eyelids. It's not the look. I'm going to put powder on this eyelid, on this under eye as well. And then we're just setting like the areas that you get a lot of grease. So for me, that's my oily T-zone. So I'm going to set my nose, my upper lip, and my chin, and my forehead as well. Now that we have all that set into place, I'm going to go with the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. And this is like the trademark part of this look. Um, this is technically a highlighter, but for um, some reason, I like to use it as a bronzer, and I like to put it all over my face. Um, this is the Morphe E41 brush. It's a really big powder brush, and I just take it into the powder and put it where I would bronzer. And this highlight is slightly darker like than my skin tone, so I wouldn't use this as a highlight, but it just gives like a really pretty glow and um, definition to the face, so you don't look flat you have some slight definition and it's adding more glow. I'm going to take some of this on my forehead as well, just where you would um, apply bronzer. And then I'm going to put some on my nose as well so that it's not left out. 
jawline. And I love using this essence powder as like a finishing powder as well. I just think it, it adds a pretty luminous glow to the skin and makes it look really dewy and fresh. And now I'm gonna go into like highlighter and this is the e.l.f. Moonlit Pearl Highlight. And I'm gonna take that on a Morphe M501 brush and then just highlight the high points of my face where you would put highlighter. And this highlight isn't like really pigmented. It's just something that's gonna add attention to the areas that you want to be highlighted. So I'm just applying highlighter where I would normally, um, a little bit above the eyebrows, on the cheekbones, the tip of the nose, Cupid's bow, chin. Okay. I'm sweating. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the Shiseido eyelash curler and then just curl my lashes. And I'm also going to add mascara afterward, but I'm going to set my face before I do that, just so that my um, mascara does not transfer anywhere. That's a good trick to do when you're doing like minimal makeup, is to apply your mascara afterwards, because it can just transfer everywhere and that's a mess. So I'm going to go in with the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray. This is the coconut one. I love this. And I'm just going to drench my face. And again, this is great to make your skin dewy, to make your makeup last all day, and just to keep your skin hydrated. So after this dries, I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, and that'll be it. So this is my everyday makeup look all complete. Thank you so much for tuning in and hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. Leave a like and subscribe down below, and I'll see you in my next one.